And staying on the topic of disasters, let's look at the U.S., specifically the drama unfolding in the U.S. Congress. They made history yesterday. The House of Representatives has removed its speaker. This has never happened before. Kevin McCarthy has been forced out. That too by members of his own party. The move was orchestrated by Florida Republican Matt Gates. He's part of a hard right Republican faction. This group has just eight members and they decided to oust McCarthy. These eight Republicans succeeded because all the Democratic Party lawmakers voted along with them. It's a tale of infighting, opportunism, and moral failure, or you could say just another Tuesday in American politics. Here's our report. The chair will now entertain requests for one minute speeches. Is America's grand old party crumbling? Infighting is tearing the Republicans apart. Yesterday, rebels in the party brought down House Speaker Kevin McCarthy. Doing the right thing isn't always easy, but it is necessary. I don't regret standing up for choosing governing over grievance. That farewell speech sounds quite noble, as though McCarthy made a great sacrifice and he was being punished for his moral fortitude. He certainly wants people to believe that. Saturday, I took a risk for the American public. Sir, when did you make this McCarthy says he was ousted over the temporary government spending bill. The bill prevented a partial U.S. government shutdown. It was passed at the 11th hour on Saturday. Some Republicans led by McCarthy and some Democrats came together to see it through. It was a compromise that delayed the government shutdown by 45 days. And McCarthy says he was ousted for making that compromise. But that's not the whole story. You see, McCarthy's position as House Speaker has been shaky from the start. It took him four days and 15 ballots to get elected to the post. This is usually considered a formality, but not for McCarthy. He was made to work for the Speaker's chair. But some didn't vote for McCarthy even at the very end. Mr. Speaker, my friend from Oklahoma says that my colleagues and I who don't support Kevin McCarthy would plunge the House and the country into chaos. Chaos is Speaker McCarthy. Chaos is somebody who we cannot trust with their word. The that was Congressman Matt Gates. He filed the motion to get McCarthy ousted. As you can see, he's quite passionate in his opposition to McCarthy, as are the other seven members of his faction. There are 221 Republicans in the U.S. House of Representatives, but these eight were enough to bring McCarthy down. They just needed a little help from the Democrats. Help the Democrats were happy to provide. 208 Democrats voted with these eight rebels. The final tally was 216 to 210. McCarthy had to go. The ousted speaker had something to say about that. Everybody's sitting there. In today's world, if you're sitting in Congress and you took a gamble to make sure government was still open and eight people can throw you out as speaker and the Democrats who said they wanted to keep government open, I think you've got a real divide. I think you've got a real institutional problem. The U.S. Congress does have an institutional problem, but the institution with the problem is the Republican Party, a problem of old versus new, traditional Republicans versus the supporters of Donald Trump. To understand this, you have to look at the big picture. Gates and his faction have no loyalty to the party. Their loyalties lie with one man, Trump. They want to lay the groundwork for Trump's return to the White House and hope they'll be rewarded for their efforts. That's why Gates and his band of hardliners were angry that McCarthy worked with the Democrats. Anything that helps Joe Biden, even a little, is unacceptable to the Trump troop. This is why McCarthy had to go. The next U.S. presidential election is gearing up to be a rematch. Biden versus Trump again. Before the election, Gates and the other seven in the Republican Party don't want compromise or a solution. They want dysfunction. The goal itself is chaos. Chaos that could help usher in another Trump presidency.